Review Unit 4A. So the first group of questions asks us to simplify. If you look at the first set, you have 7a squared minus 2a squared b. And that whole thing is going to be subtract, and you're going to subtract 5a squared b plus 8a squared. So if you look at this, this is just a combining like terms. Your operation is subtraction. So let's go through the problem and let's find our like terms. I have a 7a squared, so I go over to the next group and look for an a squared. There is an 8a squared. So what is 7 minus 8? That gives you a negative 1a squared. Then we look for more like terms. If you look, I have a two, negative 2a squared b, and there's an a squared b here. So these two are like terms. So I'm going to go negative 2 minus 5. And if you have a negative 2 and you subtract 5, you end up with negative 7 a squared b. So it's just an issue of combining like terms for the first question. The second question, you're just going to multiply these two binomials, so you're going to have to FOIL. So let's go first would be 2x times 2x. 2 times 2 is 4 x times x squared, or x times x is x squared, so that's your first. Then you'll do the outside, 2x times negative 3y is negative 6xy. And then if you go inside, you'll have 3y times 2x would be positive 6xy. And then if you do last, you'll have 3y times negative 3y is negative 9y squared. If you look in the middle, you have like terms, and they're opposites, so they will cancel. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0, and then you're left with 4x squared minus 9y squared. All right. And notice that these two things are conjugates. One is plus, one is minus, so when you FOIL them together, the middle term will cancel out. And what you have here is a difference of squares. If you were asked to factor it, you should be able to factor it and t take it back to 2x plus 3y pretty easily, and 2x minus 3y. But notice the difference between these first two problems. When you're combining like terms, the variable and the exponent did not change. I still have an a squared, I still have a squared b. When you multiply x times x, the, ver the exponent changes from 1 and 1 to a 2. So you've got to be careful what operation are you performing. Multiplying, the exponents will change. When you combine like terms or you're adding or subtracting, the exponents and the variables will stay the same. So don't be fooled by that. All right, question number three, we've got... 4x cubed divided by y to the negative 2 power raised to the third power. Anytime you see a parenthesis and an exponent, you must multiply. The rule that we're using is this one, a to the m raised to the n power is equal to a to the m n. All right? And remember that everything has an exponent. This 4 has an exponent of 1. So when I start to multiply, I have my base 4. The exponent's 1, I multiply it times a 2, I get 2. I have an x, its exponent is a 3, and I'll go 3 times 2, and I get 6. And then I've got the y, its exponent's negative 2, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So I've got 4 squared, which if we calculate that value, we're going to get 16 x to the sixth over y to the negative four. And then we have this negative exponent. You cannot have a negative exponent in your final answer. So we're going to make that positive. And so remember that it's down in the basement. It's cold. It's dark. It's scared. It it's, wants to be happy. So to be happy, it needs to be moved up. So we're going to move it up. And then our final answer will be 16 x to the sixth y to the fourth. And then the next problem is you have 3x plus 5 squared. Now, 
the laws of exponents that we've memorized from that table in section 5.1 only applies when you're multiplying or dividing same bases. When you're adding or subtracting, those rules do not apply. So you cannot take this exponent of a 2 and distribute it. Can't do it. So what does it mean to square something? Well, that means to just multiply it times itself. So I'm going to take 3x plus 5, and I'm going to multiply that times itself. So it's just a foiling problem. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times 5 is going to be 15x. Then 5 times 3x is 15x. And 5 times 5 is 25. Then in the middle you have your like term. So I'm going to bring down the 9x squared. 15x plus 15x gives me 30x and then plus 25. So we're just going to foil that out and this will be our final answer right there. 9x squared plus 30x plus 25.